each of these characters were so important, even though the movie's called Shirley, you had to get the absolute right actors for these characters. And um, the first one was obviously Michael Stuhlbarg, and I have been wanting to work with him for a very long time. I'm a huge fan of his. He's probably my favorite male actor working right now. What do you think? Tried and a bit trashy, but uh, yeah, give it a go. He was kind of our only choice. Um, and he said yes, and it was the greatest moment. And um, same with Odessa and, and Logan. It was a very easy casting process because that script was so good. So people wanted to do it. Um, but I think that was the first thing I did as a producer, or participated in as a producer. Shirley, what are you writing now? A little novella. I'm calling none of your goddamn business. She's gone sick in the head. I read your story. What are you doing in here? It made me feel thrillingly horrible. There was a moment before, right before we started shooting because Michael Stuhlbarg and I had done all this research and all this work and all this emailing and all this reading and all this stuff and working on the dialect and working on the hair and makeup and all that. And at one point I sort of turned to him and I was like, you know what has to happen now? We have to let it go. We have to play our Shirley and our Stanley. We didn't know them and we have to trust that that we've done the work and kind of throw it away now. I feel like we're in the Scottish play. On the verge of madness. What will happen? I don't know if I really thought too much about the, the moral ambiguity. I guess I just don't really think about that that much playing any character or worry about that that much about any character, whether or not they're a good moral person or not, because it's sort of not very interesting, I guess, to think about objectively like that. It's much more interesting to, I think, be a bit more subjective and, and think about why they're doing what they're doing and how they're reacting to the way someone else is doing something. And so for me, this crazy, unique relationship that Stanley and Shirley had set up with this openness and this honesty and this, you know, he, we're allowed to be with other people, but we're gonna tell each other about it. And how I think at some point, Shirley perhaps <laughs> regrets that and thinks, well, I don't know if that was such a great idea. This isn't as fun as I thought it would be. I think it's very human and, and very, uh, I think, relatable in a way. So I don't think I worried so much about the moral ambiguity. I think they're really funny and intelligent and adventurous and um, I love them. I love Shirley and Stanley. So I don't know what that says about me. But <laughs>